Hi everyone, this is Erica Burnett. I haven't done a video in a while, a card making video, so I definitely wanted to get that in and share another card making session with you. This is a quick and easy card that I'm going to make using scrap pieces of paper. Here is a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock. It's a piece of white cardstock where you can see that's white. The back here is has an adhesive backing that I put on it. And you'll be able to get all the details below the video are all the pieces that I use and all the, sorry, not all the pieces, all the products that I use to complete this card. But I'm also going to provide a blog, a link to my blog so you can see all of the, um, the instructions on how I did this step by step. Okay, so I'm going to take this adhesive back one off of here. And I forgot which end I went from. So I hope this doesn't take longer than I thought it's supposed to take here to get this off of here. I started a corner just so it wouldn't take long. Here we go. So I'm peeling that off. And I'm going to lay it down flat. And now I'm going to start to put those strips of paper on this adhesive part. So I'm going to start with lavender. And just lay it diagonally and you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it you can place the strips down however you want to for whatever pattern you want to do okay I don't know how this is going to turn out normally when I do these videos I'm just doing them off the cuff I don't know how it's going to turn out. I didn't think much about it I just got an idea so I went with it so that's exactly what this is going to be it's just an idea I'm going with and I'm hoping it turns out okay. And what you do is you take and line that plate paper right up against that strip that you place down. So it's sort of like quilting. Okay. So I'm going to take a black strip of paper and I'm going to put one on the other side. And then just stagger back and forth. up against place that there line it up and press it down smooth it out so I think I'm going to go with pink on this side here so lay that down up against there and line it up this is really easy to make and it's a lot of fun and you get to use all your strips of paper so you don't waste any now I'm going to go with red and trust me these colors are random I just picked these colors out of nowhere so trust me not too much thought has gone into it I just picked the colors but I thought this would be a fun thing to do so I'm going with some black here line that up press that down there you go uh black strip here on the other end press that down make sure it's lined up correctly there you go i'm going to do some how about i do some yellow and i'll do some orange on this end i'll do some orange here Line it up, press that down, and I'll do some yellow on the other end. So let's do this. And this is a technique, you can't mess up on this, you can't mess this up. Okay, this is something you can, so if you're worried about getting it right, there's no such thing. This is something anybody can do. Like I said, it's like quilting. It doesn't take much at all, and you get to use all of your little scrap paper so you don't waste any, like, you know, cardstock that you may have. Okay, press that down. And we're going to put some black on this end. Okay. There 
There you go. Just want to make sure that's down correct. All right, so we got to see if we got the rainbow colors here. So now I think I'm going to do blue. Put some blue down. Okay. Put some black down on this end here. And I'm doing it all the way out to the end. All right, I'm gonna do some green on this end. Okay. Some black here. And I think I got enough here for the ends. So let me, oh, I did pretty good. I cut just enough, okay, I cut just enough to cover those ends. Now you'll see some white, you'll see some white tips there, nothing to worry about because those tips are going to be cut off in the, after the, the, um, during the process of making the car. So now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to cut. The extra pieces of paper, the, the, the extra that's hanging off the tip of the paper. I'm going to cut it all off. So you can see that it's being cut all off. Try not to mess my scissors up, messing with the sticky stuff, but I'm just going to get the, the bare minimum off. Just the extra stuff. All the way around. Okay, so now you have, it's a little sloppy, but don't worry about it. It'll be cleaned up. So I'm going to push all that stuff to the side. Okay, so this is what it looks like thus far with the little jagged edges, but we're going to clean that up. I'm going to run it through die cutting machine using, and let me pull this up close so you can see what it looks like with the colors on it. So I'm going to use a die cutting machine called the Big Shot by Stampin' Up, and here I have a die that's called big top note and i don't think they sell this anymore i think this has been discontinued but this is also a stampin up product if i can find it i'll provide the link but normally i use a lot of old tools because i just absolutely love them and i'm not getting rid of them because they i work with them all the time so um most of the stuff i use is discontinued and i'm sorry about that but you know i have my favorites so now i'm gonna run that piece through the die cutting machine. So here is the big shot and I'm gonna line it up so you can see. I'm putting one plate down, my used plate that looks a hot mess. And I'm putting the top note die right here. And I'm gonna place it over a little bit over so you can see how I lined it up. So I'm taking this and you put it face down on top of the die. Just face down and you line it up as best as possible in the center of that die. Put that down and then you place the acrylic plate over top of that and it holds the paper in place. Press down and you just roll it through. When you are all done, I'm going to show you. That's what it looks like. So that's what you call a top note die. Oops, let me move it over so you can see it. 
So now I'm going to throw this excess away. And now, and this is an easy card. I have a piece of white linen cardstock. I'm going to place this top note on that cardstock and finish it off. Very easy to do. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. This is my favorite Tombow dot adhesive. I prefer it over everything else. I love it. I always put excess on the back to make sure the card does make sure the layers stay in place. And I'm gonna put that here. All right, line it up. And let's see. I want everything that I want it to be lined up. Okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, and I'm gonna finish that off with a quote that I stamped about faith. Faith, it does not make things easy, it makes them possible, Luke 137. I'm gonna put that on, take the backing off of it. And place that in the center as best as possible. But sometimes uh, I might get a little off center here. There you go. And that's it. That's it. I'm going to fold it so you can see what this looks like. Fold it. And this will be on my blog. And I'll put the link in the description section. Let me move it over so you can see it. And there you go. Oop, I'm trying to angle it so you can see it. There you go. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a note below the video or anywhere on social media. Okay, this is Erica again. Thank you so much for hanging in with me. And I really do hope you enjoyed this card. Hopefully I'll see you sooner than later. Take care. Bye-bye.